Hello! Exciting new announcement, and it's going to be available tomorrow, April 1st. So, um, if anybody has had Vetiver and Myrrh, let me show you the old version, which is still available. Um, but let me show you what happened. So, here in this Myrrh bottle, um, I don't even have keep the cap on because you can't get it out. And then I've even added some coconut oil, and it absolutely takes forever to come out, as you can see. And then it's this um, really thick resin that comes out. And this is actually with some coconut oil in there. Um, let me just apply this, right? And then the vetiver, if you've ever tried to get that out, you can probably even see it in the bottle. It's like, it's like syrupy, right? Um, I've had to take out the lid and then put a dropper and look how thick this is here, right? So it's, an amazing, amazing, amazing oils, but really difficult to use, right? Adding vetiver to your diffuser can sometimes be hard, but um, this works good if you're taking them internally. What I've done is with these, um, what I've noticed is if I do this with the myrrh, it, the myrrh actually comes up in here and kind of eats away at it, so it's hard to keep it in there. You can dip in and take it out, but I've, I haven't been able to leave it in. So this new available myrrh and vetiver touch is a game changer. So I hope that you all um, start using these a lot more. We know that um, in, myrrh is in the Bible so many different times. You know, frankincense and myrrh, you've heard those, right? Frankincense, myrrh, and then turmeric, the gold. Those are all very healing herbs. And so I'm really excited that we get to use these gifts of the earth. And myrrh is actually emotionally Mother Earth because it's, it's, it's such a nurturing oil. So it's kind of like the feminine aspect of frankincense and the fat way that you can use frankincense for almost anything. Hey, Kristen, make sure to uh, comment below if you guys have any questions on this, but I'm really excited about these new applications. So the myrrh is already diluted with fractionated coconut oil for easy application right onto the skin. So um, one of the, there's many, of course, different ways that you can use myrrh. Some of the top uses is actually gonna be for like gum disease or bleeding of the gums. And in which case you can just roll it onto your finger and then apply it, okay? So because it is fractionated coconut oil, that's like an MCT oil. It's fine to, to put into your gums. Um, it's just that you can't, you're not going to be dropping it. You could open the cap and take some droppers if you needed. But really easy application. Um, also thyroid. So you would roll it right over your thyroid area, over your throat. If you're dealing with thyroid issues, you can make blends with it really easy. Um, again, if, you're, if you have some of the myrrh, then you can, you can get that out as well. Um, also, um, any types of, um, like eczema or wounds is really supportive for the skin, um, just helping heal the affected area. Um, also myrrh, because it's such a, a thick resin oil, um, it's very grounding. So it is really wonderful to use in meditation as well or in prayer. Um, if you're using it for more emotional support, then adding it to the reflex points um, are is really wonderful, or you can even just smell it. Um, but reflex points, so wrists, inside the elbow creases, even inside the um, ankles, that's another great place for it. So it helps you feel more nurtured. So if you're feeling really disconnected from your life, from the world, from your spouse, from anything, um, especially that mother-child bond. So like I said, it's really about Mother Earth, this oil. And so helping really bridge that, cap, that gap between that disconnectedness of that mother-child relationship um, can really help you assist in letting go of the fear, of the beliefs that kind of go along with, um, with that disconnected so that you can have healthy attachments, so that you feel safe in the world. All right, so uh, myrrh, absolutely wonderful, uh, absolutely wonderful one to get. Again, I said it was going to be available um, in the myrrh touch on April 1st, as well as um, we have vetiver, right? So vetiver, if we look here, um, 
in our resource books here. Vetiver, and this is one of the top ways I like to use it, is if I'm list making. If my brain will not turn off, whether it be from list making because I'm, I'm overwhelmed, whether it be from just um, anxiety, right? And your mind kind of goes off the deep end. Vetiver is a thick resin as we showed you in this one, right? It's even hard to open because it gets really sticky. Um, it helps just really pull you down and help ground you. So that's why it's in um, the Serenity blend to help with anxiety and sleep to kind of help calm that mind. This is the oil that, that is in there that helps with that. Um, and so um, it's also in the Intune, which is the Focus blend. So it's also gonna be in the Thinker and the Kids version. The, those blends are to help you focus. So if you are having trouble with focus or your child has trouble with focus and they're kind of maybe even hyper um, and they won't sit down and focus, right? Maybe they, they're on the spectrum a little bit or not, but um, the vetiver is the key oil in those blends that's going to help you concentrate because it kind of takes away all of that extra stuff. So if you have any learning difficulties, poor retention, um, then you can apply this either right under the nose or on the back of your neck. So in tune, when I'm really trying to get in tune with my kids, in tune with myself, um, in tune with what I got to do, I like to apply that blend in the back. But now I can even just do vetiver, which is wonderful. You can blend it with Melissa um, to help with um, anxiety, depression, PTSD type emotions as well. So if you combine it with the Melissa, you could just simply rub it in your hand like this, add a drop of the Melissa, which I don't have right in front of me, but then you can just kind of apply it to your back. You can apply it to your feet, um, even your forehead, right? Um, that's Those are all really good places that you can apply that blend uh, to help support your emotions, okay? Um, if it's, um, look in the book. If you don't have a resource book, we do have the Droply app that you can get for free so that you can look up some of the great ways to use each of these essential oils. But there are so many different ways, all right? One of the ways that I actually like to use vetiver as well is over my stretch marks, right? Over my belly and my stretch marks. Um, or if you have any discoloration or scars, this is a great oil to help ease the skin um, and, and those variations. It's gonna help move you from unrooted to grounded. It's really wonderful. So it is known as the oil of centering and descent because of that grounding effect. It helps you feel more rooted in life. So if you're feeling challenges of trying to escape the pain of life or escape literally pain, um, this can help you really shift that, that way of being. Um, so that you're aware of what's going on. You're aware and you're connected to your surroundings. So that way you can really get to the root cause of the emotional issue. So of course, root oils help you get to the root cause. Absolutely wonderful um, one. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have ways that you love to use these oils, please comment below, like the post, share with your friends. Again, available on April 1st. If you put it with your loyalty um, order. Remember, you can have access to some extra Phoebes. Um, any order over 100 points gets free shipping now. And if you get to 125 points, you'll get the free product of the month, which we will announce tomorrow on April 1st. All right. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Enjoy and let me know what you think.